There are a lot of guys that told me this. I have heard also people, not Octavist, but Bass, speaking like this because his resonators, his resonator, was, uh, resonators was like this. He was a baritone, bass baritone, let's say. But his voice was going like this. It is, it's a very strange feeling. You cannot say, I'm a coda bass voice just because I hit low notes. No. It, it's, it's about how the sound is, is going out from your body. A contrabass voice. It's not coming only from here. It's your whole body projecting those notes. Uh, now, I'm filming from a tablet. And uh, after I saw you, I have my microphone too. And I will see uh, from which uh, microphone sounds better. And I use it. But from my previous video, when uh, uh, I was talking to you about tips and how I became an octavist, I was recording only from my mobile phone and I didn't uh, manipulate the sound. It's the sound of this mobile phone. It has two microphones, so it recorded my voice uh, stereo, stereo. But if you hear, it's not only clear my voice, how, how you can uh, hear it, but also it, it's going like this. If you don't have a contrabass voice, you cannot do this. You can project it like this. It, the sound goes like goes in front of you. If I stare here, my voice will go here. If I stare there, it will go there. Contrabass voice is going anywhere. And I forgot, uh, I told you uh, the body of a contrabass organ is huge for this reason. When you hear, it has a warm, very deep sound that fills the area. And that's what this is a contrabass, or else they can say we untune the cello and we have the same notes. Yes, but the cello cannot project this note, not, not strong, loud, project it like this to fill the area with this, uh, with this sound, this warm sound. Ooh. So, if someone is a contrabass voice, he certainly is, a con is an octavist. And if he can sing beautifully, he certainly is a basso profundo. A basso profundo it doesn't necessarily is an octavist or a contrabass voice. Okay. And he might not be a contrabass bass voice because he may not reach uh, notes deeper than a B1. And uh, an octavist mostly is reaching the low notes but he might be a contrabass voice, but he might not be. So, and I'm talking especially to the young guys, to the kids, uh, from 13 years old, I see many uh, speaking, uh, uh, writing comments from 30 to 90, let's, let's say 19 years old. And I'm talking to you especially because you hear your voice, you try to do many things. Of course, you might not be trained and of course you are not matured. Your voice, your muscles are not matured. So, <clears throat> you say, I hear this note, I'm an octavist, no, or I'm a basso profundo. They said uh, basso profundo hits a G0 or uh, he's 15 years old. This is not possible. Of course you can say anything you can, you want, no problem. But if you want to progress your voice, 
and that is the only reason I'm talking to you now. If you want to progress your voice, you must start to perceive it in your brain. When you do things, what is this that you do? Because if you perceive it, if you understand it, you can progress. You can say whatever you want after. The, the right thing to do is to understand what you are doing. That's, high, uh, that's why I'm trying to explain with detail what is the, its definition about those voices. Okay. So, if you perceive it, you understand in which level you are and where you can be or you can go. You must have a combination of things to have a voice like this. And all of this has to do with how your parents made you. Your body, your construction, your throat, your skull, the diaphragm, the diaphragm that you must have strong to support your breath to be able to do whatever you will do, you, you want to do with your voice. Okay, so uh, I will stop now. I think that for these three voices, type of voices, I don't think that I have to, to say many more things. And uh, my, in my next video, we will bust some myths. I will talk to you. I went to a voice doctor. And I will tell you why my voice sounds like this. Okay. And uh, many of you say, wow, he has a very dark voice. His timbre is very dark. Uh, it's very beasty. Of course, you can, you can manipul manipulate all this, but if you do it with your modal voice and without a strain, then yes, you have all this stuff, this heavy stuff, and you must do it effortlessly. Okay, we are gonna talk about all this in my next video, what the voice doctor told me. Because we hear many guys say, my vocal folds are, la are like this. <laughs> okay. So guys, thank you for watching this video. And I will try to do my best to give you many tips and many information, hoping that they are going to help you progress. So, greetings on Greece. Talk to you next time. Thank you.